Ohio. Boise, no, 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 no. It's, uh, I don't know the state. I know it's not Boise. Okay, never mind. Go home. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not good at this shit. I just, I'm mad at it. Okay. You want to ask me who was the first in the fellowship and who, like, that kind of shit. Right. How many rounds of trivia is it? There are five rounds plus a bonus round. Yeah, it takes about an hour and 45 minutes. So. We go fast. It's fun, and we give away cash. So. Boom. All right. Let's see. So, in general, in this room, what we attempt to do is take over one, two, three screens, a single screen in that room, and right now, we don't have any screens operating outside because I haven't set those screens up on the wall. You motherfucker. Ohio, not Idaho. Oh shit. Fuck shit. 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 <laughs> okay, that was right out of a sitcom. <laughs> word for word. That was funny. <laughs> you can hear me, right? Boise, Ohio? No, he heard me oh. say he he heard me say he didn't hear Ohio, he heard Idaho. You know, I said Ohio. All right. Hey. Okay. Do, 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 do. 
You're not giving away questions online, are no, you? No, no, it's for the IG. <laughs> we already did Instagram post today. Oh, you did? Yep, that's a sound check. Over and out. Pretty simple.
coming back to me. Just the number. Just the number. All right. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Max's Tavern. It is Monday night. I am E-Geek, and we're going to be starting E-Geek's Knowledge Nights. E-Geeks Knowledge Nights, otherwise known as Max's Monday Trivia. And we're going to be doing that in about 20 minutes, 20 minutes or so. Thank you for coming down on our new time. And we're going to try to get this going in 20 minutes or so. So settle in, order up some dinner, and get ready and put your thinking caps on. Thank you. Your mic's crackling in the back. My mic is fucking bad. Here we go. in that room. This room's got weird.
What? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your five minute call. Five minutes, we're going to begin the trivia game in about five minutes, if I can get this sound right. So please, get your teams together, get your thinking caps on, and come up with an awesome team name. Five minutes till the game starts, five. Two minutes, two minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We've got two minutes till trivia starts. If you need a trivia kit, please see the amazing Nick Hollum over here, and he will get you all set up. Two minutes, ladies and gentlemen, two. There we go.
prime number. Yes, I like it. There we go. Thank you. Good luck. All right, yeah. And then I'll give the one minute call in three more minutes. <laughs> Wait until the last second. I, we changed the time, so there's got to be people showing up here about nine going, fuck, you already started? Anyway. But we'll do what we can. out and we'll get started. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your one minute, one minute call. Get your thinking caps on. All right, hang on, we're trying. One minute call, get your thinking caps on and get ready to play. Trivia in one minute. If I can get this fucking microphone to work, Jesus.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. I don't know what this technical issue is. It doesn't sound like it's getting a hell of a lot better with a different microphone either, so give me just a minute. gonna have to do this OG style. I'll try not to peek out the microphone and hopefully we can fix the sound problems as we go. Good evening. Welcome to Max's Tavern. How's everybody doing tonight? All right. Thank you for coming out for Max's Monday Trivia, also known as E-Geeks Knowledge Night. All you got to do is answer my questions and check your raffle tickets and you can win cash and or fabulous prizes. So does everybody have their teams together? Does everybody have their thinking caps on? Yes. Does everybody have a pencil? Yeah. Or a pen, that'll work, pens will work. All right, then here we go. Round one, inning one, question one. We are looking for a term, a term, a word. Here we go. This word means to make well, to restore to integrity, or to mend. What word am I looking for? I'm looking for a word that means to make well, to restore to integrity, or to mend. It generally only has a verb form. What word am I looking for? Question one, round one, inning one. All right, question two. Question two, geography. Geography, what is the capital of the state of Ohio? What is the capital city of the state of Ohio? One more time. What is the capital of the state of Ohio? The state of Ohio, what is its capital city? All right, question three. We're looking for the name of a business. The name of a business. This fast food chain began in Downey, California in 1962. There are around 7,000 these days, mostly owned by independent franchisees and groups. They have featured the Cravings Value mem 
menu and have been an official advertiser for the NBA since 2009. They once featured a small dog in their advertising campaigns. What restaurant am I looking for? This fast food chain began in Downey, California in 1962. There are around 7,000 stores today, mostly owned by independent franchisees and groups. They have featured the Cravings Value menu and have been an official advertiser for the NBA since 2009. They once featured a small dog in their advertising campaigns. What restaurant am I talking about? Question three, or wait, question four, thank you. Can you name the actor who played George Costanza on the Seinfeld television series? Name the actor who played George Costanza on the Seinfeld television series. One more time. Can you name the actor who played George Costanza on the Seinfeld television series? Question five. Question five. What U.S. presidential administration entered us into the Korean War? What U.S. presidential administration entered us into the Korean War? Who was president when we jumped into that post-World War II conflict, the first war of the Cold War series? Who was president when we got into the Korean War? And question six is name that tune. One point for the song name, one point for the artist you are listening to, and here we go. song name, one point for the artist you're listening to. Repeats, clarifications, extra hands. Because of the microphone situation, I cannot move very far from this spot, so please look my direction and hold up a number. Who needs a repeat? Over here, over here, no one in the game room. Boom. Table nine. Number one. We want number one repeated. Here we go. Number one. We are looking for a term, a word. It means to make well, to restore to integrity or to mend. What word am I looking for? To make well, to restore to integrity or to mend. Any other repeats? No? All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that that awesome team name you came up with is on your answer sheet and get it back over here to me or the amazing Nick and we will meet tonight's teams in just a few minutes.
see. All right, where'd he go? I have that sweatshirt. No, it's, 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 a, it's a pretty OG sweatshirt. Did you just call me old? OG, I said OG. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Okay, is there any other team you know that hasn't turned in a sheet yet? All right, kids. All right, guys. Last call for answer sheets, last call. Okay, was that the last one? All right, boom. Much better. in all the way or something? No, it just, uh, words wear. And the way I've stored it, just a little frayed. Yep. All right, kids. All right, kids. Hey, we're back. Let's meet tonight's teams. Let's meet tonight's teams. Here we go. When I call out your team name, give a shout out for yourself so we know where you are. All right. I'm looking for Kyler's birthday. Hey! Second place is okay. Hey! Stu John. Where's Stu John? They must be outside. Undecided. There we go. The new kids on the block. And the Jennifer Coolidge fan club. All right, those are tonight's teams. Good luck, everybody. Let's go over these questions. Here we go. Question one. This term means to make well, to restore to integrity, or to mend. I think I was a little, uh... anyway. We were looking for the word heal. I also gave credit for repair and recover. So, boom. Question two, what is the capital of the state of Ohio? That is Columbus. Question three, fast food chain began in Downey, California in 1962. There are around 7,000 stores, mostly owned by independent franchisees and groups. They have featured the cravings value menu, have been an official advertiser for the NBA, and once featured a little chihuahua in their advertising, Yo Quiero, we're looking for Taco Bell. Question four, name the actor that played George Costanza on Seinfeld, that is Jason Alexander. Five, what US presidential administration entered us into the Korean War, that was Harry Truman, the Truman administration. And question six, one point for the song name, one point for the artist you're listening to, and we played you. Classic by MKTO. Classic by MKTO. All right. Pencils up, thinking caps on. Here comes round number two. Well, hang on. After this brief musical interlude. All right, we're back. Just had a team joining us, my bad. All right, here we go, round two, question one. Here we go. Question one, a pen, this is a fun one. A pen de decagon, a pen de decagon is a polygon with how many sides? Pen de decagon, P-E-N, D-E-C, or D-E-D, D-E-D-E-C, -E -E 
a g o n. Pentadecagon is a polygon with how many sides? How many sides are in a pentadecagon? Question two. Question two. A little bit of science here. Know your elements. This red orange metal is primarily used as a conductor of electricity. It is also a component in brass and bronze. It has an atomic number of 29 and the symbol CU. It was one of the first metals used in industrial form in the history of human metalworking. It is also used in coinage. What element am I looking for? Know your elements. This red orange metal is primarily used as a conductor of electricity. It is also a component in brass and bronze. It has an atomic number of 29 and the symbol CU. It was one of the first metals ever used in industrial form. It's also used in coinage. What elements am I looking for? Red orange metal used in coinage and electrical conductivity. Symbol CU. What element is that? Question three. Three. 2020 was a difficult year for the motion picture industry with the COVID lockdowns and all. What Will Smith film topped the box office in that year? What Will Smith film, yes, he was the star, topped the box office for the year 2020? Easy. And I will give you a hint, it was part of a series. What Will Smith film topped the box office for the year 2020? Question four. Question four, we're going to name with a band here. Question four. This iconic 80s band from Birmingham, England, pioneered the early era of MTV and brought us hits such as Girls on Film, The Reflex, and Wild Boys. What band is this? This iconic 80s band from Birmingham, England, pioneered the early era of MTV brought us hits such as Girls on Film, The Reflex, and Wild Boys. What band am I looking for? One more time. Birmingham, England, Girls on Film, The Reflex, and Wild Boys. What 80s band is that? Question number five. Question five. Know your college towns. And we're joining the Big Ten, so get to know these towns. All right. Know your college towns. What municipality is the home of Indiana University. What municipality is the hometown of the main campus of Indiana University? Write it down. Yeah, good job, dude. Write it down. Go to the college town. What municipality is the home to the main campus of Indiana University? And name that tune. Number six, one point for the song name, one point for the artist you are listening to, and here we go. One point for the song name, one point for the artist you are listening to. Repeats, clarifications, extra hints, going once. Anyone? Repeats in here. Anybody over here? I got four. Repeat number four. Four. We're looking for the name of a band. We're looking for the name of a band. From Birmingham, England. Pioneered the early era of MTV and brought us hits such as Girls on Film, Wild Boys, and The Reflex. Any of the repeats? Repeats, clarifications, extra hints, going twice. In this, okay, we're going to number three. 2020 was a difficult year for the most picture industry. What Will Smith film, he was the star, ended up being the top box office film for that year. What Will Smith film, I will tell you, it's part of a series. Right. No, no, it's not part of a television series, it's part of a series of films with the same characters kind of doing the same thing. Anyway, any other repeats? Two? Did you say two, John? All right, 
Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you get those cool team names on the answer sheets, and we will be back to start the raffle in just a few minutes. Okay, that's funny. That would be the next song. No, I didn't coordinate that. Oh, that's something bad. Huh? people were guessing. Okay, so here's the question. Thank you. not the name of the movie I
All right, do I have any more answer sheets out? I don't believe I do, but if anybody joined up later, feel free to turn in an answer sheet. Otherwise, grab your raffle tickets, get your raffle tickets out. It's time for the first raffle of the night. Here we go. Get your raffle tickets out, look at the number on it, and we are giving an envelope full of cash to raffle ticket number 33. Who's got 33? Is that you guys? All right, there you go. Cash. Thank you very much. What's your team name? Both birthday Both birthday Oh, birthday boat! Birthday boat! Thank you. All right, guys. Well done, well done. Let's go over these questions. Here we go. Round two, question one. We're looking for the name of a pendedecagon. It is a polygon with 15 sides. 15. Many of you put 50. You were close, but it was 15. Question two. Know your elements. Red, orange, metal, Cu, 29. We're looking for copper. Copper is the name of the element we're looking for there. Question three. 2020's top motion picture was Bad Boys for Life, otherwise known as Bad Boys 3. I, we gave credit for both of those answers. Question number four. Iconic 80s band, girls on film, reflex, wild boys. That is Duran Duran. All right, and the home of Indiana University is Bloomington, Indiana. And the song we played you was Starships by Nicki Minaj. Starships by Nicki Minaj. Thank you very much. Pencils up, thinking caps on. Here comes round number three. Round three, here we go. Literature, literature. This J.D. Salinger novel was first fully published in 1951, originally it was released as Episodics, but it was coordinated and published as a full novel in 1951. J.D. Salinger novel. It is considered a seminal work of American 20th century literature. It is the story of a boarding school teenager flunking out of school who fantasizes about working at a gas station and living in a log cabin. What book is this? J.D. Salinger novel, first fully published in 1951, considered a seminal work of the American 20th century literature. Story of a boarding school teenager that fantasizes about working at a gas station and living in a log cabin. What book is this? J.D. Salinger, 1951, boarding school teenager. What book am I talking about? Question two. Question two. Wait a minute. Shh. Okay. Didn't we just do that? Okay, I have a problem. Weird. I used the same question twice. Okay, let's see if you get it the second time. Here we go. I don't know why I did this. This is me going too fast. This fast food chain began in Downey, California in 1962. There are around 7,000 stores, mostly owned by competitive franchisees and groups. They have featured the Cravings Value member at the menu and have been an official advertiser for the NBA since 2009. They once featured a small bar in their advertising campaign. What restaurant am I talking about? You guys, this is a freebie. This typo is a freebie. One more time. Fast food chain, 7,000 stores. Yo Quiero, what restaurant? Question three. That's weird. So much for proofreading. Question three. Tim Bergman, I'm looking for the name of a recording artist. The name of a recording artist. Tim Bergman of Stockholm, Sweden. Had two top 100 hits in test 2014. Hey Brother and Wake Me Up. He passed away in 2018. What name did he perform under? Tim Bergman of Stockholm, Sweden. Had two top 100 hits in 2014. Hey Brother and waking up. He passed away in 2018. You know these songs. What name did he perform under? Tim Bergwing of Stockholm, Sweden, was an international DJ, producer, songwriter. Hey brother, wake me up. What name did he perform under? Question four. 
Which is farther north? Which is farther north? New York City or Ashland, Oregon? Which is farther north? New York City or Ashland, Oregon? A little bit of geography here for you. Farther north, Ashland, Oregon, or New York City? Farther north, Ashland, Oregon, or New York City? Question number five. We're looking for a word. This term means to clean or dry by rubbing, or it can refer to a transition from one scene to another, usually including a line moving across the screen. That's film and television tech. What word am I looking for? It means to clean or dry by rubbing. It is also a technical term for a transition from one scene to another, usually including a moving line across the screen. What word am I looking for? To clean or dry by rubbing. Or a transition from one scene to another, usually including a moving line across the screen. All right, and Name that tune. One point for the song name, one point for the artist you're listening to. Here we go. Thank you. 
I need a representative from the team, Monday Night Warriors, who just joined. I need a rep. Somebody send me somebody up here to where I am. I need to ask you a question. Monday Night Warriors. All right. Raffle tickets out, get your raffle tickets out. We're gonna figure out who wins this next envelope of cash. Here we go. I'm looking for raffle ticket number. 3, round three. All right. This J.D. Sollinger novel, first fully published in 1951, Holden Caulfield, a teenager fantasizing about working at a gas station and living in a log cabin that was Catcher in the Rye. Catcher in the Rye, which hopefully is still required reading. All right. Question two. Fast food chain down in California. I don't know why we repeated this question, but you all got it. Congratulations. Taco Bell. Taco Bell, question three. Tim Bergling of Stockholm, Sweden, performed under the name Avicii. Avicii is the name of the artist we're looking for. Question number five. Question five. Oh, wait, four. Which is farther north, New York City or Ashland, Oregon? That is Ashland, Oregon, by two degrees. Question number five. To clean or dry by rubbing, or this refers to... A transition from one scene to another, usually including a line moving across the screen. What word am I looking for? I'm looking for the word wipe. Wipe is the term we are looking for. And the song we played you was I Love Rock and Roll by Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. I Love Rock and Roll by Joan Jett. Most of you got the name of the song. Some of you even knew who that was. All right. Pencils up. Thinking caps on, here comes round four. Question one. Question one. This, we're looking for the name of a Stephen King novel. The name of a Stephen King novel. This 1977 Stephen King novel takes place at the Overlook Hotel in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. The film version featured Jack Nicholson in the lead role. What horror masterpiece is this? This 1977 Stephen King novel takes place at the Overlook Hotel in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. The Overlook Hotel. The film version featured Jack Nicholson in the lead role. What horror masterpiece am I looking for? Question two. This chewing gum company is currently, currently, using the slogan, do what makes you ding. What brand of gum am I thinking of? Chewing Gum Company is currently using the slogan, do what makes you ding. What brand of gum am I talking about? Do what makes you ding. What brand of gum is currently using that slogan? Do what makes you ding. Question three. Looking for the name of a pop star, recording artist, had a massive hit in 1986 with the song What Have You Done For Me Lately? Written by Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis of the time. What artist brought us this song? Pop star had a massive hit in 1986 with the song What Have You Done For Me Lately? What Have You Done For Me Lately? Read by Jim Jam and Terry Lewis of the time. 
What artist brought us that song? Question number four. A little European geography. Upon what river? Upon what river was the city of Brussels, Belgium, founded? Upon what river was the city of Brussels, Belgium, founded? What river was the beginning of Brussels, Belgium? On what river was the city founded? Question number five. Question five. Once again, a little U.S. history. Oregon achieved statehood in 1859. Oregon, that's the place we are now, achieved statehood in 1859. Who was the president of the United States in 1859? Who was president of the United States when Oregon achieved statehood in 1859? Who was the president? Once again, who was president of the United States when Oregon achieved statehood in 1859? And number six is named that too. One point for the song name, one point for the artist you're listening to. Here we go. All right, one point for the song name, one point for the artist you are listening to. Repeats, clarifications, extra hands, this room. Who needs a repeat? Anyone? Fry? Fry? Any repeats? Don't worry, I'll come back to you. Do you have any repeats over here? Do you have any game room? Okay, I got, is that a two or a three? Three, okay, got it. Three and two, all right, so question two. We are looking for the name of a brand of chewing gum. Currently using the slogan, do what makes you ding. Do what makes you ding is their current slogan. Question three, we're looking for the name of a recording artist. This pop star had a massive hit in 1986 with the song, What Have You Done For Me Lately? It was written by Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis at the time. What artist brought us this song? All right, any other repeats? Two, three, four. Four, let me go four. We are looking for the river upon which Brussels, Belgium was built. What was the original river? Now these days there's all kinds of waterways and you know how they redo rivers, blah, blah, blah. But upon what river was Brussels, Belgium founded? It's still there, it's just there's 4,200 canals at this point. All right. What was, what was the other one you needed to repeat? Chewing gum? What brand of gum is using the slogan, do what makes you ding? Currently, right now, that is, their, that is their slogan right now. Any other repeats? Ladies and gentlemen, make sure that your awesome team name is on your answer sheet and get them back in here and we will get on with the next raffle in just a few minutes. All right.
All right, kids, all right. Hey, let's get those raffle tickets out. I have got one more. One more envelope of cash to give away, and then the rest of the prizes have to do with actually answering the questions. So, here we go. Get your raffle tickets up. And we are looking for final raffle of the night. We are looking for raffle ticket number 37. 37. Anybody got it? Who's got it? Well, here you go. Bring it to me. And you guys are new kids on the block, right? All right, well, congratulations. Here's some free cash just for playing. All right, let's go over these questions. Question one. Question one. Stephen King novel from 1977 takes place at the Overlook Hotel and starred Jack Nicholson in the film we are looking for, The Shining. Question two. Chewing Gun Company currently using the slogan, Do What Makes You Ding. The brand of gum is Orbit. Three, this pop star had a massive hit in 1986 with the song, What Have You Done For Me Lately? Janet Jackson. Question four, upon what river was the city of Brussels, Belgium founded? The name of the river is the Seine, S-E-N-N-E. Anything close, I gave credit for. Question number five, who was the president of the United States? When Oregon achieved statehood in 1859, that was James Buchanan. And question six, the song. One point for the song name, one point for the artist. And we played you. You Made My Dreams Come True by Hall and Oates. Carol Hall and John Oates. All right, that's who that was. Here we go. We're going into round five. This is the final round before the bonus round, which is a single question. And... You can make up a lot of ground here. All right, round five, question one. Thank you, Caps on, here we go. On January 3rd, 1902, the first college football bowl game was played. College football bowl game, the very first one was in 1902. What bowl game was it? It's still around. January 3rd, 1902, the first ever college football bowl game was played. What bowl game was it? It is still around. Question two. Two, with what liquor is the cocktail known as the Old Fashioned normally made? With what liquor is the cocktail known as the Old Fashioned normally made? Usually made. There are actually two options here. I will give you two points if you know both of them. With what liquor is the cocktail known as the old fashioned usually made? Question three, looking for the name of a band. This American indie rock band is fronted by Julian Casablancas. It was formed in New York City in 1998 and has brought us such songs as Last Night, Someday, Hard to Explain, and Reptilia. We actually feature these songs in solid rotation most of the time around here in the playlist we use. American Indie Rock Band is run by Julian Casablancas, who was formed in New York City in 1998 and has brought us songs such as Last Night, Someday, Hard to Explain, and Reptilia. What band am I looking for? Julian Casablancas, Last night, someday, hard to explain, Reptilia. What is the name of the band I am looking for? Question four. Question four, the aforementioned twice for some reason, Taco Bell used a chihuahua as its mascot for a number of years. What was the name of the chihuahua? That chihuahua actually had a name. That chihuahua died in 2009 of a stroke. But it was the most famous dog since Scott McKenzie for a number of years. What was that Chihuahua's name? Question. Now that's real trivia. Who the fuck knows that? That's trivia. All right. Question five. I didn't know until I looked it up. Anyway. Question five. We are looking for a word. This term, this word means a smooth, slippery coating of ice. 
It can refer to a smooth, glossy coating, usually translucent, on foods or ceramics, or even on top of a painted surface. It can also mean to fit with glass. If you are having a window redone, to fit with glass. What word am I looking for? This term means, can mean a smooth, slippery coating of ice, it refers to a smooth, glossy coating, normally translucent on food or ceramics, or even on a painted surface. It can also mean to fit with glass. What word am I looking for? There is one word that means all of those things, and it can be used for all of those concepts. Smooth, slippery coating of ice, smooth, glossy coating, usually translucent on ceramics or food or on top of a painted surface, and it can also mean to fit glass or to fit with glass. What word am I looking for? All right, name that tune. One point for the song name, one point for the artist. Here we go. Song name, one point for the artist you're listening to. Repeat, clarifications, extra hands, God wants this room. Anybody hear me to repeat? All right, outside, I am looking down the hallway. If you guys need a repeat, flash it in my direction. No? Okay. You guys need a repeat over here. No? You're good? You're good? You're good? Repeats. Okay, four. I got four over here. I got, is that four as well? Three. Three and four. Let's go with three. Three, we are looking for the name of your recording artist, a band. Fronted by Julian Casablancas, it was formed in New York City in 1998 and has brought us songs such as Last Night, Someday, Hard to Explain, and Reptilia. What band am I talking about? That's number three. Number four, what was the actual name of the Taco Bell dog? That dog had a name. Yokiro Taco Bell. It's not its name, it's not Yokiro. That dog had a name and died in 2009. Do you know the name of that actual animal? Any other repeats? All right, let's get those answer sheets in and we'll get on with the bonus round in just a few minutes.
and this doesn't have a birth this date. This doesn't even have a date. It doesn't have a... Yeah, I need some with a birth date on it, something that corroborates this. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go over these questions. Let's go over these questions and we're gonna get right into the bonus round. All right, here we go. January 3rd, 1902, the very first college football bowl game ever was played. And of course it was the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. All right, that's why they call it the granddaddy of them all. Question two. And I offer two options here and you can get two points. With what liquor is the cocktail known as the old fashioned usually made? It's either bourbon or rye. Bourbon or rye. I gave you credit for whiskey. Anyway, but if you put down both bourbon and rye, I gave you two points. Question three. American indie rock band fronted by Julian Casablanca's voting for the Strokes. The Strokes is the name of the band. Question number four. I can't believe how many of you got this. By the way, looking things up online is kind of considered cheating. But anyway, the name of the Taco Bell Chihuahua was Gidget, and who died of a stroke about 10 years after retiring. Question five. This term means a smooth, slippery coating of ice, or fitting with glass. We're looking for the word glaze and. One point for the song and one point for the artist you're listening to, and we thank you. Perfect on the dance floor by Sophie Ellis Baxter. Dexter, I'm sorry. Sophie Ellis Baxter. All right. Bonus round. One question. Six answers. Oh, I shouldn't have told you that. Anyway, there are multiple answers to this question. So, pencils up. Thinking caps on. Here we go. You have five minutes to turn in your answer sheet. Bonus round. Is geography. Geography, everybody's favorite. Something that's very difficult to argue with, which is nice. It makes an easy question to write. Geography. Name all the states that border Wyoming. Name all the states that border Wyoming. Name all the states that share a border with the states of Wyoming. States. Wyoming isn't on an international border, so we're not talking about another country. You have five minutes. Good luck.
Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you guys for coming. Sheets in, let's go.
have a problem. I have a tie for a second. I'm trying to look for any gimme across twice. Yeah, well, we well, do the same area, right? So then I just count the 10 marks that are going up. But I'm trying to look and see if there were any gimmies that I could take back. Once I breathe, I just hate doing it. I breathe. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the delay. Let's go over these questions. This question, whatever the hell. Name all the states that border the state of Wyoming. They are Colorado, Utah, Montana, Idaho, Nebraska, and South Dakota. South Dakota, if we get to that screen, hopefully we'll come through. There we go. Once again, Colorado, Utah, Montana, Idaho, Nebraska, and South Dakota. All right. So we have a problem. First place is a clear winner. Please congratulate from outside at Patio 3, Stu John. They are the clear winners, but we are tied for second place. We have a tie for second place. So each of these two teams, please send in your best. I hate tiebreakers. New kids on the block and undecided. Undecided and new kids on the block. Send me one person. One person. Here we go. Undecided and new kids on the block. Stu John, send me a rep and come get your money. Wherever they are. All right, there we go. I'll stay out of American history this time. All right. Here is your prize there. All right, who's here for that team? From New Kids on the Block, we have Jacob. And from Undecided, King. All right, this is pretty simple. Now, nobody in the room can help them. The first part of them to blurt out the answer to this question is going to win. All right. 1984 was a great year in American music. Can you name the artists who had a huge breakout album called Purple Rain? So, yeah. hey. yeah. all right, undecided is the second place winner. Hey, thank you very much, you guys. So close and yet so far, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to tip your bartenders. Get home safely. And remember always, it's good to be smart. We'll see you next week. What about second place? Okay, it was 25, so that was fourth. Fourth? Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Awesome. Yep, thank you. See you next week.
that coming apart? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's the first I've heard of it. Okay, I'll work on that. Thanks. Next week. All right. Ah. Wrong one. How do I do that? Thank you. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you for all the help. No problem.